Well, let's look at how to run a Python program from the command line on a Windows machine. In order to run a Python program from the command line, first I need to create one. So I'm going to use Notepad. So go down here to my Start menu. And different versions of Windows have different Start menus, but you can just start typing in Notepad or different programs, and you can create a program. So this is a Windows program, and I'm going to first create this program and then run it. So my program is just going to print a statement. Hello, world. And that's very nice. Um, and I can save this. But when I save it, you want to do a save as, and you make sure it is a Python file type. So I'm going to save this right here at my desktop and I'm going to name this my hello.py. I need to change the type to all files and save this. And I want to replace the existing one. So I save that. Now that I have the file saved, you can see right here, um, I can shrink this down and try to, or move it away, no, just shrink it down, and I want to run it for the command line. So I'm going to go down here and use my start menu again, and I'm going to type in cmd. And cmd will usually give you a command prompt, and what you can do is you can right click this and you can um, pin it to your taskbar, or you can just run it. it prompts up this command window. Now, because I saved the file to my desktop and my desktop is inside of my user directory, I need to get into that directory. So I can go CD for change directory, desktop, and that will get me into the desktop directory. And uh, there is a hello.py program here. So I've been hello.py and it should run. Well, that's nice. Well, what happens if there is a mistake in my program? So bring my program back up again. Let's say that I forgot something. I forgot this end quote right here. I save this and I try running it again. Hello.py. It will say syntax error. And you can see right here, it says this file right here, line three, there's some print statement. And apparently right about here where this caret is, it thinks there's a problem. Well, what's the problem? It's missing the ending quote. So I can go in here and look at it and look and say, well, line one, two, three, right here. This is the line. Normally you'd want to use a slightly better editor than Notepad. Notepad++ or Atom or some other editor will usually give you line numbers and it's much more helpful, much easier to find things. And they have syntax highlighting that allows you to see things much better. But this will help you fix problems. And then you can see what you did wrong and you can run it. And that's great.